Apache Maven builds have multiple phases, each of which performs related tasks, such as compiling source code or building an artifact like a jar file. In this screencast, we'll learn how to build a project with Maven and run the project's tests. We'll also see how Maven downloads the code it needs to build a project. Maven projects are built in phases, and you tell Maven which phase you want to build. Phases are dependent on one another. So for instance, before Maven runs the test phase to run unit tests, it will run the compile phase to compile the source code. If the compile phase fails, Maven won't bother to run the test phase. Maven's also smart enough to know that if you haven't changed one of your source files since the last time it was compiled, it won't try to compile it again. As an example, we're going to run the package phase uh, for our project by typing maven package. The package phase builds the artifact for the project, in this case, a jar file. But before I can build a jar file, it needs to compile the source code and run the tests. Maven also downloads all of the artifacts that it needs to run your project and stores them in your local repository. Some of the artifacts are needed to run Maven. So for instance, it downloads the plugins that it needs. And other artifacts, such as JUnit and its dependencies, are needed for your project itself. So as we can see, our build was successful. Let's go over to Eclipse to look at some of the outputs that are produced by the Maven project. Maven places its outputs in a directory called target. Things like the class files that are output by the compiler, outputs of running the unit tests, and the artifact itself. You can find the output of the unit tests here in a Surefire Reports directory. Surefire is the name of the Maven plugin that runs unit tests. The output is available in both text format and XML format. And this should look familiar to those of you who use JUnit a lot. This is the output of running JUnit. As you can see, there was one test that was run, and it was successful. The Maven package phase creates the artifact, in this case a jar file, that this project makes. So this application is packaged into a jar file whose name contains the project artifact ID, my app, and its version, 1.0-snapshot. So as you can see, Maven manages the entire lifecycle of your project, building the source code, executing its tests, and creating the artifacts such as jar files for your application. Each phase of the project performs some operations, such as compiling or bundling, and produces output in the project's target directory.